I put big fuck energy in the room. I put big fuck vibes in the room. And he knew that. So either you guys are having a lot of sex or you're gonna have crazy sex tonight. It's one of those two. When are you guys gonna get married? Um, next October. Oh, next October, that's so cute. Clap your hands if you've never heard of me before at all. Clap your hands. You never heard of me. How do you think that makes me fucking feel? Why are you even here? Why are you even in a legendary recording studio like this? Did, have you heard of me? You did. Yeah, I got it wrong. You got it wrong. <laughs> I need you to focus up. This is gonna be a long show. So look, we're gonna have a good show tonight, but this is what I need. I'm gonna need something special from you tonight. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna tell you what it is right now. Can I get an L O? L or a ha 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 or an L M F A O or a ja 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 if you Spanish only if you're Spanish though. <laughs> I'm gonna sing one more. Don't sing it with me just yet. You will get a chance. Can I get an L O L or a ha 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 or an L M F A O or a ja 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 if you Spanish. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Leave your worries behind Put your phone on mute And if you have to go to the bathroom Don't go number two Cause some of you might try to hook up tonight And you don't want a dirty booty hole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, don't want, you don't know if they got wet wipes at their place or not You young lady with the blonde hair, you young lady Do you got wet wipes at home? Hell yeah. You do? That's crazy why people never have wet wipes. I don't know I don't know why that is. What about are you together? No, we live together. You live together? Uh, like what's that about? <laughs> what is that about? Do you, oh you're gay? Yeah. Fucking sick, dude. That's sick. That's awesome. You got a love in your life. You do where they tonight. Suspicious as fuck. How long are you two? How long you two been together? A year and a half. Okay, and do they live closer? Yeah, he lives in the South Bay. That feels that feels far though. 
I don't feel, where, where do you live? Like 10 minutes. What is the drive time to his place? He comes to me. He comes, do you have AC or some shit or what do you, doesn't matter. It doesn't even fucking matter. This is what I need from you and I want you to sing it with me this time. Can we do that? It's so simple. You ready? Can I get an L-O-L or a ha-ha-ha or an L-M-F-A-O or a ja-ja-ja if you Spanish? We're having a good time tonight, come on. Isn't it fun to sing? Let's do it one more time, fuck it, it's fun to sing. Can I get an L-O-L or a ha-ha-ha or an L-M-F-A-O or a ja-ja-ja if you spin. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go we're gonna go like, I'm gonna point it at somebody and they're gonna sing it. So it's gonna be like, here we go. Can I get? L O L. Stop, stop, fuck, stop, stop, fucking stop, Tofu, stop, stop, fucking stop. Do you wanna have a good time at the show? You do, right? All right, let's try it again. Can I get a L O L or a ha 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 or a L M F A O or a cha cha? Stop! 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 Are you Are you Spanish? Are you Spanish? Stop! No! No! Stop! 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 What? Are you Latinx or like his, some sort of Spanish or? Then what gives you the fucking right to just just make this an unsafe space? Do you know that Tover, the piano player over there, he's, he's half Mexican? How do you think that makes him feel, Matt? Stop, let's do it again. Can I get a L-O-L? Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Or a... Fuck! Can I get a L O L? No. Stop. Wait. We're stopping because you really hit those notes. And I don't know. I don't know. Come here for a second, sis. Come here. Come close. Look. I don't. I don't know who you are or what your name is, but you look like the chef from Ratatouille. And that. That's something I normally get, but you do. You look like him. I get that. All and you hit the notes. All right, let's do it again. I like this guy. What's your name? Mike. Cool name. <laughs> Can I get a L O L or a ha 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 or a L M F A O or a sha sha sha? If you sp I know she's Spanish. I know her. It's okay. She's Spanish. I know her. So what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna do like a call and response. So what that is? I am going to sing something and you are going to sing it back. I am going to sing something and you are going to sing it back, all right? It's real simple. Here we go. <clears throat> Can I get an L O L O L O L? L M F A O. Cha 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 cha. There should have been less people who sang that. It's all good. <laughs> let's, oh, let's do let's do meow meow meows for this one. Let's do meow meow meows. Let's do meow meow meows. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Can I get a meow 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 Guys, we are gonna have such a good time. Now, give yourselves a round of applause. I can really feel it. <clears throat> so can I get an L O L or a ha 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 or an L M F A O or a ja 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 if you Spanish? Thank you guys.
It's so quiet in here, damn. <laughs> Clap your hands if you're married. Clap your hands if you're married. <laughs> you two right there. How long have you been married? 20 years. Give it over them, 20 years. <laughs> Who else is married? Is anybody else married? Yeah? You in the back? You in the back, yeah. You, I'm assuming it's you too. 26 years, real 26 years? Their, their love is better than your love. Your love is fucking weak. Fuck your love. Let me ask you a question. So you guys have been together 20 years. What size bed do you guys got? King size. King size, you know what I'm saying? What about you, Carlos? What size bed you got with your girl here? King. That's fucking right. What about you? Are you guys with the hat? You two together? You're not married? What size bed you got? You live together? You got a king bed? Anybody got a queen? You could finance a king bed. You could finance it. I have a hard time sharing a bed with somebody. I got a king bed at home. My girl sleeps over. I, I don't even want to know she's there, to be honest with you. I honestly don't want to know she's there. I, I, I hate it. But that's what this song is about. This song is about the reality of sharing a bed with somebody. Baby, get your cold ass feet off of me. Is this relatable? You ever have your girl? She puts her, she puts her feet on your leg. You get the fuck off of me. Cause I'm trying to go to sleep If you wanna sleep together Stay on your side of the bed Cause you're breathing, you're breathing on the back of my neck It's super hot and gross It still kinda smells like dinner, did you brush your teeth? I'm trying to fucking go to sleep why do you sweat so much? <laughs> Baby, you're hogging every inch of the blanket. You just farted on my leg and I smell it. <laughs> Bitch, I got dreams of my own. Please stop snoring. You just cut me with your toe. I think that I'm bleeding. It's a lot of blood. What the fuck is going on on your toe? A pedicure's like $15. Clean that shit up. This is heavy flow. I'm getting lightheaded. We're gonna have to change the sheets. I'm trying to fucking go to sleep. I'm trying to fucking go to Do you wanna window open? Do you wanna fall asleep on my arm? <laughs> Do you want a warm glass of milk? Do you want some white noise on? White noise solo! Shh! <laughs> Sounds of the city! <laughs> Does anybody here not use white noise? You you do? So what, you just fall asleep in a cold sweat or some shit? Earplugs? Trying to fucking go to sleep. I'm trying to fucking... Go to sleep. <laughs> Applause for Telford. It's his birthday today. I said you're coming into work. I don't give a fuck. I don't care that it's your goddamn birthday. You're gonna fucking work today. This next song, some of you guys might have heard it. This song is uh, dedicated to anybody who's ever been in the friend zone. 
and I need your help with this one. I need you guys to sing something. Are you laughing cacophonously like that because she's in the friend zone, or are you in the friend zone with somebody right now? You been in it? You been there? Are you there right now? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. What's your name, girl? Ricky. Ricky. Well, the song goes out to Ricky. So this is what I need from you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point to you, and all you gotta go is is do. Ooh. All right. So let's let's try it out. One, two, three. Okay, we don't have a lot of singers in here. You didn't even attempt it. All right, everybody, be quiet. Just him. Yeah. No. 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 Just him. Okay. So I'm gonna point to you. Let me. Let's see. Let's see what you can do. Okay. So what's your name? Tony. Tony. So here's the deal, Tony. What I'm gonna do is when I point to the crowd with two hands, everybody sings it. But when I point just to you, you sing it. Do you got my back? Do it, please. This is good. Just, just when, you point at me, I go, when I point just as you, when I point just to you, you do it. Okay. All right. You can do this, Tony. Oh, here we go. You're only gonna have to do it like once or twice. <laughs> She's got me in the friend zone. And she's got me in the friend zone. She's down for Netflix, but no chill when we go out. She always lets me pay the bill. She's talking about a date with somebody named Will. And she feels the need to tell me every detail. She says he wasn't even that cute. And on top of that, he had too many face tattoos. God, I wish I could meet somebody like you. I'm like, damn, bitch, I'm somebody like me. <laughs> she's got me in the friend zone. And she's got me in the friend zone. She's always asking me for dating advice, what to wear and and does he seem nice? We laying in bed And then we lock eyes Could this be it? I think I feel a vibe So I close my eyes And go in for a kiss But she's really not Having any of it She stops And says like Oh my god, what are you doing? I'm like, no girl What the f*** are you doing? Not yet talk to I, I do see how that was confusing. I do understand. I was pointing at the camera. I was, I was looking right down the barrel. But you can get at this. Now, here we go. <laughs> She's got me in the friend zone. <laughs> She's got me in the friend zone. She... <laughs> She's like that, she's just the way I am And I'm like that with all of my guy friends And if you see them laughing, you hear that? That's the sound of somebody who's hurt somebody's feelings And if you can't understand, oh well I guess then uh, this relationship should end Okay, fine, why don't you get one of your guy friends to help you fucking move this weekend I can't be the only one you know with an SUV pickup truck Get the fuck out of here She uses me to cry on my shoulder she uses me just so I can hold her She says she wants someone a little bit older She says I gotta leave cause someone else is coming over <laughs> Stop, stop She's like, no! <laughs> She's like when you met my mom and dad They were like, why can't you date somebody like that? And when she 
told me she just slapped And I was like Why do you think this is fine? She got me in a friend Tony Tony, I fucking needed you, bro She got me in a friend I think I need a friend She's got me in a friend So we're gonna do something special with the song we're gonna fade the song out. You've never seen this done live before. We're gonna fade it out together. This is unprecedented. <laughs> She's got me in the friend zone. Ooh. And a little bit softer now. She's got me in your friend zone. Ooh. Let's do meow meow meows for this one again. Meow 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 meow. I can tell there's some guys in the car like, I ain't fucking meowing, bro. I didn't come to this show to meow. The fuck? I'm a whore, dude. I don't fucking meow. Yeah, it is fun to express myself like this. She's got me in the bed. And she's got me in the bed. This is great. I feel good about this. Isn't this a cool space? Give it up for this, the Village Studio. Such a, such a legendary space. Real talk, this, I'm not even joking about it. This room was built specifically for Fleetwood Mac. It's for real, yeah. To, to uh, record their album Tusk, as well as do copious amounts of cocaine. And so uh, keep that in mind when you're in here, you know, party time. You know what I'm saying? You know, this next song is a gamble for you guys. Not for me, I know it's a good song. You know, for as many people as I, I bring together, I push them apart. I really do. I get DMs like, hey man, thanks for your show. We, we smashed, we finally smashed, it's great. But I also got DMs like, hey, we broke up a week later after your show. And this, is, this song is one of the main reasons why. So if you are early on in a relationship, this is a good time to leave the room. If you're watching at home, this is a good time to just skip the song, go to the next song. This is, trust me, trust me when I say this, okay? I'm looking down the barrel of the camera. If you are like a one week to two months in, skip this song, you've been warned, okay? <laughs> this song is about defining the relationship, DTR. You guys know what that means, right? This song is called, What Are We? This is a conversation between person A and person B. And I hope you like it. What are we? <laughs> what is this? Where are we going? Babe, I just nodded, I can't have this conversation. <laughs> well, I want to. I need to stop wasting time. It's been six months and I haven't met any of your friends. Can't we just talk about this another day? It's this kind of talk that pushes me away I don't even know your last name And you never let me stay over your place I want to tell you but I feel ashamed I have seven roommates and no bad frame. <laughs> Some people are laughing, the rest of you gotta get your shit together. <laughs> you do, you do. And why do we have to put labels on us? 
Just cause all your friends are having babies Doesn't mean that we must I'm 30 and have only so many eggs I get le less laughs on that one because it cuts deep, I could tell People get upset People get upset And I can literally feel your cum dripping down my leg Look, I don't even know what it is that I want But I like seeing you And I don't want to stop I'll get you a towel It's for the cum I'm sorry I just saw on Instagram that my friends bought a house Yes, I was triggered and kind of freaked out. Just, just out for my own curiosity. How, clap your hands if you own property. Here, clap your hands. You can go fuck yourselves. The rest of us will never own property. We're all gonna be living in a school bus like Miss Frizzle, driving into some dude's asshole on a field trip or something. No, but isn't it interesting how, like, the internet is kind of, you know, preparing us to live in a van or, like, a, every time you go on TikTok, it's like, day one of my bus transformation. We found this bus in the woods. We're going to take all the bones out of it. We don't know. If... It's okay. I get it. I live paycheck to paycheck. Let's just take it slow and see where this goes. I still want to know what the fuck is going on with this. But what you said was really cute, so I guess we can kiss. Look, I don't want to see anyone new. Cause the only one I want to be with Is you Burp coming. You know, your, your, your body makes noise and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm in the middle of something important. <laughs> this next song is about something kind of traumatic that happened to me, and I, I don't wish this on anybody. Uh, it happened a couple months ago. It's it very tough uh, to deal with. I'm kind of still dealing with it right now. Um, this song is called Home Intruder. Someone in my home And they're walking around They're making lots of noise I hope they leave and get out They're wearing my clothes And they're eating my food I heard something break This can't be good It's actually my girlfriend I think she's trying to move in She's doing it piece by piece And she thinks that I don't notice Toothbrush in the bathroom Drains clogged with her hair She's leaving clothes in my closet Like I don't even care There's an intruder in my home I call the police on the phone they try to explain the problem, but they laugh and they just hang up. She's throwing it in my face, cause she's throwing her birthday party at my place. She's got 10 or 12 of her girlfriends over, and they're spilling wine on my couch that I got from CB2. I didn't even scotch guard it. It was like $2,000. I don't know if you've tried to buy furniture in the last three years, but it... <laughs> It takes, it takes, is anybody, raise your hand if you're waiting for furniture right now. You, you with the colored hair, like what, 
What are you waiting for? You waiting for furniture? You raise your hand. I already waited. You, but you got it? Yeah. What was it? It was a couch. How long did you wait? Uh, like three months. Three? That's not, that's not even that long. <laughs> I waited eight fucking months for a shit like, because of, you know, like, supply chain and, you, you know, logistics and the fucking Suez Canal. I don't know. <laughs> and Somali pirates, Somali, they be... It's like, bro, you don't need my, you don't need myself, dude. You on the boat, like, what are you, what are you doing? She's having her mail <laughs> delivered to my address. And every time we have dinner, she tries to slip in something like, oh my God, I think my lease is up in four months or less. <laughs> No one fucking asked you. <laughs> about your lease. We were talking about something unrelated. Could you pass the potatoes, please? There's an intruder in my home. I really love you, but I love living on my own. And the moment that we move in, I know all my stuff is going in the storage. <laughs> Tony, let me ask you a question. Tony, how much... Th oh, thank no. you. No, 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 not yet, but like how, how much of your stuff is in the home? None of it. <laughs> There's an intruder in his home. <laughs> And, and um, you know, my personal philosophy is have as much sex as you can. Life is too short to not be fucking, you know, use it or lose it, you know what I'm saying? And that's what this song is about. This is sort of my mission statement, the why we do this, the why we are here. This song is called Fuck Right Now Before It's Too Late. Fuck right now, before it's too late Fuck right now, because it feels great Fuck for the children <laughs> And fuck for me Fuck to build that family tree the song was inspired by Nick Cannon. <laughs> fuck a stranger or fuck a friend. <laughs> fuck them twice and then fuck them again. Don't wait until marriage Fuck before Unless you're a good Christian You could use the back door <laughs> Fuck for those Who were gone too soon Fuck for a woman's right to choose and if you're a guy you can get a vasectomy I hear they're reversible so you can fuck carefree and if you fucked enough and you have some time Take some mushrooms And fuck your mind <laughs> Fuck on the sofa Or fuck on the bed Fuck those plans you made tomorrow night And stay home and fuck instead <laughs> Fuck for the future 
And fuck for the past Fuck forever Cause tonight might be our last Got serious, didn't it? <laughs> now y'all are thinking about fucking <laughs> Fuck right now because it feels great Fuck right now even if you just ain't <laughs> Are you two gonna fuck tonight? Probably yes! Are you two gonna fuck tonight? Yes! Are these two friends gonna fuck tonight? Clap your hands if you want to to fuck tonight! So if you You know, I, I do I do a lot of this, and I, I did a show a couple of a uh, couple of weeks ago, and this woman came up to me after this show. She was so upset. She comes to me, she goes, "I don't get you. I don't understand you. You're so charming and and funny, and you have such a nice voice. Why can't you just sing nice songs?" And I just was like, "Mom." <laughs> Chill. You don't get the music industry like me. <laughs> you know, this last two or three years have been kind of special for me. You know, I've been doing comedy for 15 years, and then all of a sudden TikTok came out, and it really changed my whole fucking life. Uh, and I wrote this song because about a year ago, I lost about 20,000 followers. Basically, a small town was like, fuck this guy. And, you know, if you're a TikToker or a YouTuber or any sort of influencer, and if you're watching at home uh, right now, this song really goes out to you because uh, I, I really do see a lot of people like mental. This song is actually a little bit like more serious. So, um, but I thought it was important to sing it because, you know, I, I think people, especially younger people need to know about this shit because they, they, they see people go viral and they think that's what success is. And I don't, that's not what it is. You know what I mean? So that's what this song is about. This song uh, is called losing followers. <laughs> I'm losing followers a thousand at a time. I'm losing followers and honestly it's fine. Likes and follows don't make you who you are. You don't need to go viral. To feel like a star, you're great Wouldn't it be funny if this got a million views? <laughs> I'd probably feel good and then go back to being blue The way this app works, it should probably be illegal The way you feel about yourself shouldn't depend on other people, you're great Post three times a week or maybe even five If you stop posting content How will they know that you're alive? And would it matter to you to know That I am verified? <laughs> and before we finish the bridge Make sure to comment and subscribe So I should have fucking like button! <laughs> Leave a comment below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Next week, we're going to be doing an unboxing of some new Funko Pops. <laughs> Please watch it because I have a garage full of like 5,000 Funko Pops. <laughs> My girlfriend left me. This is all I fucking have. Like and subscribe. I'm losing followers a thousand at a time. I'm losing followers, and honestly, it's fine. Just got off the phone with my mom, and she said that I'm so handsome. She said, don't worry about that social media. It all sounds so random, and there's already 
so many people who love you and i don't know if this means anything but i think you're really cool i'm losing followers a thousand at a time i'm losing followers and honestly it's fine likes and follows don't make you who you are you don't need to go viral to feel like a star and there's already so many people who love you and i don't know if this means anything but i think you're really cool So, this song is called Emotional Damage. Emotional Damage. And what I would love for you guys to do is sing along with me. You don't have to sing the first time. Just listen the first time. And then the second time, uh, you come in. Come in hot. I really feel like we could do this. This is called Emotional Damage. This is about all those, like, those things that just kind of hurt that upset us. You know, they're just a little bit annoying. It's called Emotional Damage. When you stub your toe... Or you bang your knee when you ask for Coke, but they only have Pepsi. Mmm, you feel me? <laughs> when there's something inside you that feels so wrong, cause you accidentally call the teacher mom. Doesn't that one bring you back? It brings you back, doesn't it? When you realize you weren't muted on Zoom <laughs> when you're really hungry and you drop your food when you go to wipe your butt but your finger breaks through <laughs> the toilet paper and you touch your butthole you know what I'm saying my guy in the beanie you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying in the beanie Looking like a like a iPhone emoji. <laughs> he literally looks like one of those emojis, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then you smell it, right? You smell it, you don't smell it. Neither do I. I would never do that. I would never. You and me are the same. I would never do that. Emo ocean damage. Emo ocean damage. Emo ocean damage. Emo ocean damage. You go to take a bite and you bite the fork when everybody in high school called you a dork when you open your laptop in front of your class and forget to close all of your tabs. You know what I'm saying, my guy back at you? You leave an incognito tab open, you ever go an incognito? All the time, right? And you ain't solving a cold case either. You ain't doing it, you done doing nothing but suspicious activity, right? You touching yourself? You are, right? You touch, right? Look at me and say you touching yourself. Say it. Say you touch yourself. Stop fucking saying. <laughs> when you go to have some cereal and there's no milk on everybody your whole life said, Oh my God, your mom is a milk. <laughs> When the waiter says, enjoy the meal, and you're like, you too. <laughs> when you hang up on your boss and accidentally say, I love you. <laughs> Emo, oh, oh, she goes, come on, sing it with me, guys. Emo, let's go, everybody. Lock your keys inside your car when you shit your pants cause you thought it was a fart. You know, cause you think it's gonna be like a pfft, you know, but it's, it's like three tablespoons. It's like the only, you can only be measured in teaspoons and tablespoons. When they say, we should just be friends. When she says, go deeper. And there's nothing left. I ain't got no more dick for you. To... 
I'm When you're at a party and you tell a joke in front of your friends and nobody hears it. So you tell it again. <laughs> and somebody leans in and they're like, we heard you the first time. <laughs> Clap with me. Ima, oh, oh, damn. Life is a nightmare. Ima, oh, oh, damn. I didn't ask to be born. Oh, 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 damn. Why is the rent so high but the neighborhood is still sketchy? Why is there no parking in fucking Los Angeles? No, uh, why doesn't my mom like my music? Why am I not fucking famous yet? Emo uh, emotional damage. Emotional damage. That was all you. That was all you guys. You guys really brought it for that one. You know, this next song is one of my favorites. It's a very controversial song. This song is called Bro. Uh, this song is about, you know, bros being guys, guys being dudes, dudes being bros. You know what it is. It's about relationships between men. You know what I mean? Yeah, this one's called Bro. Saw you from across the room with your solo cup You were with your crew, I didn't want to interrupt You got a vibe that makes a dude want to blush Can't deny it, boy, I think I got a man crush Bro, I just think you're really cool And bro, just want to be your number one dude Back of my place, we can play some Fortnite Take some shots and watch the UFC fight And if we're having fun, we can do some wrestling And I don't know, maybe we could practice kissing <laughs> Bro, I'm just clowning around But bro, if you're down, then I'm down Just a little kiss A little bro -less. Now, you my guy with the blue shirt? What's up, bro? The fuck is up, bro? What's your name? Jordan. Jordan, that's a cool name I've never heard that name before What a cool name that is Jordan, I saw you walk in tonight. I was like, this guy's got a cool fucking vibe. Miss your question, Jordan. You like chicks? Bro, I freaking love chicks. This is crazy. This is insane. You like sports? I love sports. I love sports. What's your favorite sport, Jordan? Football. Bro, I, I love this. Are we talking about football americano? Are you talking about football with the feet? Oh, okay, you, so we weren't talking about, see? I get confused too, you know what I'm saying? That's all we're vibing. Who's your favorite team? You like the Chargers? Did that's who I like? That was a best friends test. I love the Packers, I love them. Fucking Green Bay Packers football, end zone, field goals. First and ten, you know what I'm saying? Rushing yards, tackles, blitz, blitzing, CTE. You know the shit? Jordan, Jordan, you got any hobbies? 
This is insane. I love hiking. I always go to Temesco Canyon. You go there? Where do you go? You just moved here? You live in Washington. Me too? This is crazy. I live in Washington too. This is fucking... I can't believe it. We're in Washington. Dude, I can't believe I never ran into you. This is wild. Do you hike with this, the poles like old people? Nah, neither do I. Fuck that shit. Jordan, I feel like we're best friends. Am I your best friend? Let's go. Jordan, say something nice about me. You Jordan, would you come up here and take a selfie with me? Take a little photos? Come on, give it up for Jordan. Come on, baby. Come on, man. Ooh, don't, don't trip. Coming up, Jordan. You got your phone on you? Yes, I do. All right, whip that out. <laughs> whip that out, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take the selfie. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do what can you do? Matt, can you take a photo for us? No, you can stay there. That's where I want you to right there. <laughs> it's, it's not between you and me, Matt. It's between Jordan and I, dude. You see how people want to you see yeah, that? Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, so what I want you to do, I want you to look into the camera. I want you to bite your lower lip. <laughs> and I want you to I want you to be like this. I want you to be like this. Look at me, look at me. Right there. You ready? That's what's up, dude. Let me see that. Holy shit. Look at that, dude. You see oh, that? sick. Come on, bro. <laughs> that was sick, dude. That was sick, dude. Explode it. Bring it back, bro. Bring it back. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Give it up for Jordan on here. <laughs> Some dude in Missouri just turned off the comedy special. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Bro, you have really kind eyes. And bro, oh, I think we're the same size we could share clothes. I like your style. I'm a medium. Thank you, guys. It's really crazy to be here. Um, you know, I'm doing music now. I started do, doing stand-up uh, about 15 years ago, and then I switched to the guitar. And uh, we're here in L.A. in a legendary recording studio, and I actually moved here for a girl who was a musician. She was a guitar player. She was really good. And um, she, uh, she broke my heart. She ripped my heart out, you know. And so it's crazy to be here. She's a prostitute now. And um, <laughs> that's not even a joke. She works... She works at the Bunny Ranch. You guys know where the Bunny Ranch is? Oh, you know where it is? You know where it was? You fuck her, bro? You fuck her, dude? You fucking fuck her? But it's crazy being here because I, I, I looked her up. Because you could look up the profiles of the girls at the Bunny Ranch. And I looked her up and I was, and like the sex was, it's crazy. It's wild stuff. We we're doing some wild stuff. Like the, I, now at this point, I say the most dastardly, devilish things in the bedroom. I really do because I'd be saying shit like nobody's ever gonna find you, you know. And, <laughs> and look, I look, I I understand that out of context that could be a little weird, you know what I mean? But when you're when you're in the middle of it, it, it hits different, you know what I mean? But I was looking up her profile and it was like, yo, I love, and it says shit like this. I like group stuff. I like girlfriend experience and anal. 
Anal, anal, it's at all caps at the bottom. Anal, 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 anal. <laughs> and it's like, and it's, and it's, and it's like, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna look in the camera for this. If you had just told me, I could have, I would have done that for you. I would have done that for you. But I have a girlfriend now. She's a wonderful girl. We are, uh, we're in an open relationship. And if you don't know what that is, that's where I get to uh, fuck who I want and she fucking hates it. No, no, she gets to do what she wants to. She really does. Sometimes we'll be hanging out. She'll get a little DM and I see a little smile pop in her face and I'll be like, oh my God, who's that? And she'll be like, oh, just some guy who has a crush on me. I go, oh yeah. Well, who the fuck is that? <laughs> the fuck? She's a strong woman. Give it up for strong women. Yeah. She's physically strong is what I'm saying. She's very strong. I know she's strong because sometimes we'll be having sex, you know, and the sex gets, gets really, you know, gets rough. You know what I mean? <laughs> so in fact, that is what we do for the first 30 minutes. We're just like, huh, you want this? Huh. We just circle each other on my king bag. You want to fuck? I'm fucking. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking. <laughs> But I know she's stronger than me because sometimes we'll be having sex and I'll be like, hey, babe, fight back. And then she does and I'm like, not so much. <laughs> You're gonna hurt me. But you know, this song is about love. It's about, it's called The Other Side. And it's about, you know, if you live in a big city or anywhere really, it, it, you know, when you're in a relationship, sometimes you, you wanna be single again. You wanna know what's out there. And then when you're alone, you're like, I feel lonely, I wanna be in a relationship. And there's just never anything that's gonna make you feel good, you know? There's always something. That's what this song is about. <clears throat> just had a date and I closed the deal But I did not feel a connection if I'm being real Now she's gone and I'm home alone Creeping on my ex's socials on my iPhone Looks like she just went to Disneyland She's with somebody I don't know and she's smiling The grass is always greener on the other side No matter what you do, you always leave something behind Monogamy, polygamy, bestiality Things are not as simple as they used to be It's so hard to make a choice when inside your head there's always this little voice That girl is pretty, that girl is pretty too That girl is super hot but she's drunk and she's missing a tooth But what about YOLO and what about FOMO? Sometimes I think about fucking a dude I'm talking to you though <laughs> Fuck, I blinked first. <laughs> but everyone tells me I'm still young. No need to rush. You should just have some fun. Got it in a while, you still can get fucking wasted. And I have a thousand one night stands. But what about true love, happiness, and romance? What if the last girl was my last chance? What if the current girl is a good catch? What if this girl I swipe on Bumble is my perfect match? The grass is always greener on the other side No matter what you do, you always leave something behind Being single, really that brave Or is loving someone really what makes you afraid? Are you just waiting for the next?
next best thing Or are they sitting right beside you Laughing and smiling And if you came alone tonight You fucking loser <laughs> Guys, I'm Morgan J. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. That's it. We're done. The show ended. We did it. The show's over. Do you like it? It's the end of the show. Gotta let the credits roll. My friends took, now we chillin' And we chillin' Are you vibing? Are you smoochin'? Are you making love? Did you watch this alone? Are you gonna give yourself a tug? Ain't nothing better than a little bit of self-love Go ask someone for a hug Hey, It's the end of the show I hope this special got you late I hope this special got you late I just don't want people to feel like this is another comedy special. I want people to feel like we're really doing something unique. This is gonna be a real album of music. Did you know that Snoop Dogg recorded here? Dr. Dre, The Beatles, Steely Dan, Fleetwood Mac. I just feel like what we're doing here is really different. I get it. I do a lot of songs about, you know, dating and sex. But you know, there's millions of songs about broken hearts and the right one and the wrong one. And I just feel like, I don't know, I, I just feel like this is gonna be different, you know? I just want people to feel like it's different, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. I was just asking what you want me to say when I bring you up. Um, yeah, you could just say he's a funny guy and he performs all over the country and you're gonna love him, you know. Yeah, I'll make something up. I got it. <laughs>